WHO is John Grissom. Corey Feldman names actor WHO allegedly molested him. Actor Corey Feldman vowed to name the person who allegedly molested him as a child in a viral YouTube video last week, and he apparently stayed true to his promise. Feldman went on the O show Thursday and accused actor John Grissom of sexually abusing him, the Hollywood Reporter wrote. Feldman filed a report with the Santa Barbara Police Department during the television show. Grissom was arrested in 2001 on child molestation charges, according to what was revealed on the daytime talk show. Two years later, he was found guilty and served time in prison, though it was unclear how long his sentence was for. Grissom wasn't the only person Feldman named. The actor reportedly told E.R. Mehmet Oz about other men who allegedly abused him, but he made those accusations off-screen, according to the celebrity doctor. Grissom did not immediately respond to the accusations. Feldman created a fundraiser where he asked for $10 million in donations to make a documentary that exposes the corruption in the entertainment industry. More than $185,000 from nearly 4,000 backers has been raised. What I am proposing is a plan that I believe can literally change the entertainment system as we know it, and I believe that I can also bring down, potentially, a pedophile ring, that I have been aware of since I was a child, he said in the Truth Campaign video on October 25th. Right off the bat, I can name six names, one of them who is still very powerful today. A story that links all the way up to a studio and connects pedophilia to one of the major studios. Right double quotation mark. It had been long rumored that actor Corey Haim, who appeared in, in the 1988 movie License to Drive and Dream a Little Dream in 1989 alongside Feldman, was involved in the pedophile ring Feldman talked about. Haim's mother, Judy, shot down Feldman's claim. He's been talking about revealing the names of his and other abusers for seven years, since my son died, Haim's mother told THR Saturday. Now he wants $10 million to do it. Come on. It's a long con. He's a scam artist. If he was serious about this, he'd share the information he has with the police. Right double quotation mark. While Judy maintains Haim was molested by one man, on one incident, Feldman claims it frequently happened by multiple men.